Did you know that numbers have opposites? In this lesson, you will learn about the opposite of a number by looking at a number line. Let's review. On a number line, if I wanted to locate positive 5, I would go 5 units to the right of 0. On a vertical number line, if I wanted to locate negative 3, I would go 3 units down from 0. Common mistake is thinking an opposite is always negative. The opposite of negative 5 is not negative 5. Also, 0 should never be shown with a positive or negative in front of it. On a number line, 0 separates positive and negative numbers. 0 is neither positive or negative. Num or negative. Positive numbers go to the right of 0, and negative numbers go to the left. So if we were to locate positive 5 on the number line, we would go 5 units to the right of 0. If we wanted to find the opposite of 5, we would go 5 units to the left of 0 and land on negative 5. So 5 and negative 5 are opposites because they are both the same distance from 0. If we were to locate positive 11 on the number line, we would go 11 units to the right of 0. The opposite of positive 11 would be negative 11, or we would go 11 units to the left of 0, and 11 and negative 11 would be opposites. On a vertical number line, we can do the same thing. We would locate positive 3 by going up 3 units from 0, and its opposite, negative 3, by going down 3 units from 0. The opposite of 25 would be negative 25. The opposite of negative 18 would be positive 18. The opposite of a positive is always negative. And the opposite of a negative would be positive. In this case, we have two negatives. The negative outside the parentheses, we would refer to that as being the opposite. So we're looking for the opposite of negative 24, which would give us a positive 24. And once again, the opposite of negative 21 would give us positive 21. In this lesson, you have learned about the opposite of a number by using a number line.